If you stop eating carbs and sugars, your acne is going to fly away from your face. Um, guys, I want to share with you my personal tips and some more like avoiding tips how to have flawless, beautiful, glowy skin without foundation. And yes, guys, I do not have foundation. I'm so, 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 so happy. It took really hard few years to get to the level where I am today. I am filler free, makeup free. I do not have a foundation. I do not have anything. I love my skin. I truly adore my skin. It's not perfect. I do have sometimes here and there acne coming out before my period, but I am really strict with my skincare routine, with my regimes, with my diet, with the stress, with everything that is impacting my skin. Guys, I'm jumping right away into this video. I have little notes in front of me. I'm gonna take a look because I am not that smart to remember everything. So it's going to be six tips. Tip number one, do not over exfoliate your skin, overuse retinols or microdermabrasion, microneedling. Now you know guys, me, I do sell professional grade uh, derma rollers and microneedling tools which look like this, aqua stamp and derma rollers, but I always, always put the message in the front before I start promoting anything. You have to be very, very careful. These days, People do mistakes like this. Oh, I'm gonna do every day, it's gonna be better. No, 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 no. If you want to use derma rollers, exfoliators, uh, microneedling tools, dermabrasions, retinols every day, no, it's not good. The other day I went to the doctor and we were talking about retinols, how people like peeling and, and shedding and they're so happy. Peeling from the retinol or having irritated skin is a side effect. It's literally a side effect and you do not want to peel it. You have to be smart, you have to be wise, and you have to feel. If you're peeling, if you're red, if you flake, your skin is screaming, stop, because it's not good. Skin is your organ, and you have to take care the same way you take care of your heart, of your lungs, of your stomach. If you're exfoliating, um, depends on what strength is your exfoliator. If it's with acids, I will say one twice a week. If it's really, really strong, if it's mild and or like light, you can exfoliate every three days. Then uh, derma rollers, guys, you know, you can go to my website. I'm gonna link down below for those new people. If you don't know, you can check out each individual size. I have five size, it has to be used differently. The smaller size you can use every two days the bigger size and you can use every three four five days depends on the size like for example one millimeter derma roller you cannot use more often than once a month and you're not going to get better results if you're going to use once a week you're going to only damage the skin you're going to cause collagen breakage and everything like you want to destroy your skin so in the long term results you have to avoid overdoing uh you have to read the labels guys so many people send me picture like jim look at this it's looking so nice it says botanical is it good i need ingredients every single person when they send me picture of this product i say send me ingredients send me back because i do not care how nice packaging looks because most likely companies say natural but there is a bunch of fragrance they say natural fragrance which is essential oils which is irritating the skin which is damaging our protective barrier and then once i read there there is a bunch of crap and there is only few extracts natural organic little tiny at the end things that doesn't matter actually reading reading the first five lines this is what it matters the lower you go the least matter if you see at the end at the end of something that you can't recognize it's fine but make sure you avoid perfumes bad alcohols i'm gonna insert table what's the difference between good and bad alcohols avoid parabens avoid sls patalates so i want to just give you a little tips what kind of word uh, words you want to look in the ingredients extract plant fruit organic seed oil leaf root these are things that you want to look in the product for example i'm taking my natural peptide serum and i'm reading ingredients to you guys just a couple of them so cassia angustifolia seed plant-based hyaluronic acid so i'm using not 
synthetic hyaluronic acid serum that most companies do. I am using from a plant. Hamamelis Virginia water, which is witch hazel, organic aloe barbadenis leaf juice extract, then Simone Sage Sinesis seed oil, organic Centelia Asatica extract. Uh, guys, always, always read ingredients. I do have retinol, which is natural. I do have vitamin C serum, which is natural. I do have peptide serum, which is natural. I do have hyaluronic acid serum, which is natural. Beside my brand, which brands I like, not all the products, but some of them, Suzanne Organics, love it. The one thing, it's a lot of um, vanilla smell and a strong smell. Then virgin marula oil, for example, from Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant line, more or less, is also natural. Then I have a glow recipe. They have everything in this uh, Sweet Chef, for example, Vamisa. This is exfoliating pads. Amazing, such a good quality, such a natural ingredients. And it makes my skin next day plumped and beautiful and people who say i you know plant products don't work trust me some of them work even better than those fake synthetic ones believe me skincare facial tools at home it doesn't have to be mine but i'm just saying for example when you apply regularly a uh, skincare product it does not absorb like more than i believe 20 30 percent yeah so another 70 percent let's say more than half of the product is wasted so look at this like this you pay for example let's say twenty dollars for the serum right and it's only 20 30 percent absorbed in your skin 80 percent it's wasted so you're throwing away in the garbage like 15 dollars and when you use tools that help absorb skincare products you making work like a 90 100 percent product into the skin you're pushing it in because you don't want product just sit and do nothing so i do sell dermarolas that do help um push the product inside in your skin also i do have on my website ultrasonic skin scrubber it has two modes cleansing mode which is exfoliate and extract uh, all the blackheads and everything dirt from your skin and also the mode where you tap like this on the serum and penetrates deeper into the skin layer that usually product alone cannot do this also another product that i have is really really helping you actually can put this is aqua stun you can actually put a serum inside in that little glass bottle and you close it and the little needles you puncture the skin and serum is going inside in your skin isn't that beautiful and then another tool that i have this is dolphin also is really really good around the eyes brows and crow's feet marionette lines over here love lines smokers lines everything is also pushing the product inside there are other products that i no are good new face but i personally haven't tried there are many other devices that i probably don't know and i should know leave me down below guys in the comment section what is your favorite tool pay attention in the tools because you don't want to waste your product you literally can buy this product and it's going to serve you a lifetime uh, this is going to be number four detox okay detox enema colonics or colon hydrotherapy i have done so many colon hydrotherapy sessions more than in the last few years i'm not like obsessed but i do every like three four months then i do enema at home like if you don't know what is enema or colon hydrotherapy basically you have to stick a little hose inside tiny tiny and push the water inside i can link enema kit that i bought for myself it's really really not painful not at all uncomfortable it's very simple you can start with a half glass of water i wanted to show you my enema kit you see it's not big actually it fits like uh, big two glasses of water and here are the different ends that you want to do it you can do for your vagina this one and then for your butthole this is really really soft it's like silicone and this is bpa free and stuff like this it's really easy to use it's not painful not uncomfortable i highly recommend this for overall your health i really like it like you cleanse your face you wash your hair you brush your teeth 
you are supposed to cleanse your bowels too. It's basically a bowel cleanse from your ass. <laughs> So this thing, what I started doing uh, more than a year ago, I realized my skin really, really improved. It's really, really much better quality than it was before. I had a lot of acne, guys. If you don't know, I can insert a picture here of my acne skin that I used to have before. I finally, today, I am acne free. I'm so, 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 so happy. Um, there is a lot of thing in the lifestyle, of course, you know, guys, smoking, drinking, drugs, uh, sun exposure, it's bad for the skin is also how you feel inside the relationship is very very important because it does affect all your well-being your skin the way you feel the way you look the way you happy in the relationship you're ready the kind of like a, this kind of glorious thing coming out from you and you like feel so good you feel so powerful I realize in my life when you have a perfect relationship, when you have a person that loves you and adores you and everything, you just have amazing sex, you just have attraction to each other, you just serve each other, you just love each other even after two or three or five or ten years being with each other, you say like, um, honey, what can I do for you? Can I throw away garbage? Can I throw away this? Can I help you? Can I cook for you? Can you bring sometimes to work for him, for her um, lunch and surprise and everything. Little things make relationship better, but make sure that person you are with is uh, stable. Because I know so many people, so many of my friends, they are with the people that they are not like, not stable, neither financially, neither mentally. And um, some people, some girls, are insecure and they stay with the man just because they don't want to be alone. I would recommend you to watch Tony Robbins couple of videos about relationship. You will understand what I mean. I learned from that man a lot. I am so, so grateful. So lifestyle, relationship, work. If you are in the toxic environment, um, change it. I know it's easy to say, but not easy to do, but it's a long term a uh, job that is affecting you negatively, it's affecting your skin, it's affecting uh, your health, it's affecting how you feel and you're not fully enjoying your life, um, you might want to think about it also what you're surrounding yourself with, some friends, what you have, family members. Uh, sometimes it's easier and better and healthier to be alone than with the people, family members or friends that impacting you negatively. I don't want toxic people in my life so today basically that's why I don't have friends um, but that's fine it makes me feel good this is the most important thing in life that you guys will feel good so and the last sex sex oh my god <laughs> I'm thinking about sex. and the last six thing actually is diet now is a huge huge topic and I'm thinking to do a separate video but quickly I'm going to tell you guys how diet changed my life, changed my health, changed my skin. I'm gonna show you I have some books that I will recommend by the way <laughs> lately I'm reading a lot of books I love books avoid wide processed carbs and sugars is an evil in your life I wish I knew this three years ago when I had horrible acne, when I had horrible cramps, uh, horrible periods and a heavy periods, like an eight, nine day period that never stopping. Um, this was causing inflammation in my body and the heavy, heavy period with the big, big cramps is a sign that you have inflammation in your body. The most inflammatory foods is sugar and is white processed carbs. You want to avoid white flour, white rice and everything that is made from grains i know that sounds crazy but there is always substitute today i am completely a hundred percent any carb free i've been on this diet three months i started eliminate carbs a year ago uh, like a half year ago i cut 50 maybe 60 percent carbs I did everything gradually. You don't want to go cold turkey and one day just cut everything. That's not good. You you want to do it slowly, you know, gradually, little by little. Do challenge for yourself if you have acne. Do challenge. 
one week no carbs and you will see 50% of your acne is going to start disappearing I just promise you guys from the deepest corner of my heart if you stop eating carbs and sugars your acne is going to fly away from your face processed food in general you know avoid the pizzas burgers hamburgers eating outside eating outside even in the best restaurant it's no good even little tiny sauces or balsamic vinegar there is sugar and you want to avoid sugar you want to cook everything at the home when i started gab's diet it changed my health it changed my life it changed the way i feel i was depressed i have i had anxiety i couldn't stand up from bed i had moments when i thought i'm dying i literally thought i'm dying and it helped food is so related with skin guys i i i wish i knew this a couple of years back when i was really really sick uh, i had a surgery because in over in my uh, uterus they found polyps and thicken uh, endometrium which was very close to be endometriosis and everything thank god i caught everything on time because all those things can come to the level where you get cancer i have more energy to read books i will have more energy to learn from people i have more energy to tell a stranger in the street like you're looking beautiful i have energy to go downstairs and pick up garbage around my house with the diet you even change how you feel mentally trust me you do feel i feel so happy it feels so good lately it's just like wow i have this energy that coming from somewhere i feel like glory coming to my life into my house into my heart it's like feeling always good and everything started with a diet probiotics is very 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 important i'm gonna leave you down below guys my favorite probiotics that i'm using pills but also natural probiotics which is fermented food like for for example the sauerkraut is very very good and you need to have good probiotics because probiotics do um kill bad bacteria that we have in our body we have a bunch of a lot of millions of millions good and bad bacteria when there is imbalance in our body that's why we started to have acne we started to have hot flashes cramps heavy period and melasma rosacea everything is affecting our hormones we get to the level where is our thyroid and all the other parts of the body is affected i got to the level where i am feeling like crazy healthy i do crazy things like enemas and sticking things in my ass and cleaning my bowels and eating healthy foods that some people look like oh how you can eat this eating liver and ghee and um everything like wow guys i am completely in a different world with my diet if you saw what i'm eating by the way those who follow me on instagram you know what i'm talking about if you guys don't follow me on instagram i do have instagram gin number x i post every single day what i eat and what i drink and stuff like this and the book okay the book i gave to my friend to read another book okay so this doctor Natasha Campbell this is her second book the first book is going to be yellow I'm gonna post here on the screen that I do not have today but this doctor Natasha Campbell put, put your heart in your stomach and another book is GAPS gut and psychology syndrome is something that changed my life and thank you to nutritionist practitioner cat who recommended me these books these books changed my life guys I'm gonna leave her Instagram and her uh email under this video so you can reach out to her if you have like serious chronic diseases chronic pain or something happening in your life go to her she is a wonderful woman she does for free consultation and i'm um, just like going to guide you the right direction okay i know this video is a little bit long but i wanted to give you all my heart to tell you guys that if you're not happy with your skin that means something is a deeper i'm all about the root cause i'm all about digging and pulling out the dirty roots but it's not going to be easy before going to the dirty roots you have to pull out the weeds and um everything i mean uh, i love those metaphors because they are like so true if i forgot something i'm gonna leave it in the description box guys thank you so so much for watching i love you guys so so much i thank you i send you my energy my heart my love to your house i love you guys with entire heart and with my entire soul and i see you in my next video bye, bye. probably shouldn't say this should keep it all inside but maybe